What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba Ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price, uh, not only the Baba Ticker, but the entire market in general. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, when we hit uh, the range of resistance right here and uh, I drew this uh, triangle, this ascending triangle and I've told you that uh, usually this triangle breaks to the upside. And uh, right here, is, as you can see, we had uh, an attempt to break it to the upside and we had even decent volume, but instead of uh, making uh, the real breakout we fell down below the range of uh, support that become that was a resistance and becomes a support and uh, we went even lower so i have to say that uh, for now we broke even uh, previous uh, support line and we had uh, this breakout uh, with the good volume this means it was a real breakout and i have to say that for now we are still uh, in the middle of nowhere and on top of that we have a lot of uh, geopolitical news that might cause the storm on the markets and let me show you this. Uh, right here on Reuters.com we have this article that uh, published uh, just uh, several hours ago and it says Putin orders troops to break away region sinister Ukraine. And let me quote you the summary. Ukraine and West on alert for Russia creating pretext uh, to invade. White House says summit possible only if Russia does not invade. Moscow says Ukrainian armored vehicles tries, tried to enter Russia. Kyiv calls Russian allegation uh, fake news. And I have to say that uh, this news definitely is a negative news for entire markets because uh, we already have a huge drop of our stocks. Let me show you this. Russian ruble dives uh, past uh, 80 versus dollar. Ruble hits lowest point since January 26th. Stocks plunge over 10% to lowest uh, since November 2020. And uh, definitely it might affect not only the Russian uh, stock market, but the international market as well. And uh, as you might know, we had a holiday on Monday and uh, for now we have the first trading session. And on this session we might see huge storms on market and we have to be prepared for this. So, and let me show you some news related directly to Alibaba. On February 18th we have this article that, uh, that is titled Mituan, Alibaba fall as China pushes for lower food delivery fees. And uh, let me go to this. Chinese food delivery car Mituan dropped 12% after reports that Chinese regulators called for lower fees for food delivery. Shares of Alibaba, which controls Mituan rival Ali Mi, fell 4.4%. Chinese National Development uh, and the Reform Commission and 13 other agencies uh, came out with proposals uh, that push for delivery platforms to take another step to lower the service fees charged to restaurants in order to lower their operating costs, according to an uh, FT report which uh, cited the NDRC proposals. And I have to say that uh, it is only one use that might drive uh, the price uh, of uh, Baba lower from this range. And uh, right here we have uh, some positive news. And let me quote you this. Alibaba stock, two catalysts that could push the stock higher ahead of earnings. And uh, this article was published on February 21st. And the summary is, Alibaba external capital rises will show Mr. Market the value of its collection of businesses and that Alibaba group is undervalued as a whole. Alibaba cloud and cloud computing segment is turning profitable, showing a trend of rising profit margins. There are considerable risks in the investment, but it already seems to be discounted in Alibaba stock. Alibaba is trading at just 12.8x PE on 12 trailing months adjusted earnings, which is well below its historical valuation. And I have to say that this article is quite interesting and all in all it is a very 
strong bullish uh, article and uh, you have to know all the pros and all the cons related to Baba ticker for now. Fundamentally this company is a very good uh, business overall and uh, that's why you can consider to invest uh, in this asset uh, for the long term. So uh, let me show you the tip ranks forecast. Uh, we have uh, 22 ratings and previously we had 23 ratings. 19 of them suggest to buy, 3 to hold and 0 to sell. And even the lowest price target is above our current uh, price and uh, it is $140. Average price is uh, $189.13 and the highest price target is $250. And I have to say that uh, it is not the only positive thing that we have uh, from the analysts. We also have some uh, confirmation from the institutional investors in this company. And let me show you the institutional investors list and the latest filings. And uh, right here, as you might know, green rows indicate uh, new positions, red rows indicate closed positions. And we have a lot of new green lines that uh, shows uh, the potential interest uh, from institutional investors to invest their money in uh, BABA ticker. And uh, it is uh, also a rather good sign fundamentally. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, it is quite tricky to make uh, any breakdowns of uh, this uh, movement, this sideways movement. And I have to say that uh, this previous uh, triangle, it might be invalidated, but uh, all in all, we can draw different uh, supports and resist resistances. And the more obvious the line is, the more power of uh, support or resistance it has. And let me show you that for now we can uh, redraw this line like this and uh, it might be also a very good uh, support line and for now I think uh, it is next potential range of support that we might hold in order to remain uh, at least at the same levels. I think uh, in upcoming session we will see a huge drop uh, in uh, all American stocks but in my opinion Chinese stocks uh, might be some kind of uh, safe haven because uh, China is not the part of this conflict in any ways and uh, definitely we might see less impact from markets to all the Chinese stocks and uh, definitely it might be a good uh, potential hedge for your funds. So what should we expect next? Definitely we should hold this uh, support line and uh, we also have uh, the triple bottom pattern. It is uh, the range of about $110, roughly this range and uh, technically we have consistently higher lows but each and every point higher than the previous one but uh, not uh, so significant and uh, technically in a greater scale we might have uh, this range as a whole resist, as a whole support at the price point of roughly $110. And uh, if we will break uh, this range, definitely we might see lower price targets and uh, we might uh, see next free fall of uh, BABA ticker. But otherwise, if uh, this uh, support line holds and if we won't break uh, in upcoming in foreseeable future the $110 price point, definitely next leg will be to the upside. And uh, I have to say that for now you have to be extremely cautious. So next potential catalyst that might directly impact the price uh, of BABA is their earnings report. That will be in a matter of just a couple of days. And uh, we might have a good forecast and good numbers uh, for their business. And uh, this might lead uh, to much higher price action. But uh, if uh, we will see a weak uh, guidance, definitely it will be a negative sign. And that's why you have to be cautious. So what should you do if you want to invest in this asset? First of all, do your own due diligence and uh, you have to know all the pros and all the cons related to this company. And if uh, you think that this company will give uh, you a decent ROI, then invest uh, on every daily red candle. And uh, if you want to catch the trade, I don't suggest you to do so because in upcoming sessions we will see huge storms on the market and that's why you have to be cautious. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!